what's going on? My name is Zell, friends. Welcome back to yet another Nukes Top 5 reaction. Today, we're reacting to top 10 scary videos of WTF is that. And this is his most recent um, ghost video. So, this one is the most up to date one I'm currently reacting to. The other ones are a little bit older, like a couple months or so, or maybe a few weeks last I checked. So, with that being said, we're going to get right into the paranormal because we love paranormal on this channel. In three, two, one, boom. Oh, wait, I forgot to check the call. Concerned solid. Father Chris. There we go. I forgot to check it. Concerned Father Chris from Fargo, North Dakota, says that his four-year-old son has been behaving very strangely. He says that over the last three or four days, the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he says, quote, there is a monster in there. Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. But then, one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast them. asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. Something truly shocking. According to the YouTube guidelines, no one was issued in this video. The boy cries out when he appears to get shoved out of bed by some invisible force. Chris says that his son cried out in shock, but thankfully, the boy was okay and completely unharmed. Chris says that the previous owner of their house passed away oh. right in the living room, and he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happening to their son. Hold the door. A woman named Nadine has been experiencing Definitely took me for a start. I was very concerned for a second there, but Nuke said that the kid was all right, so that's good. Yeah, little lesson to um, keep in mind when you're buying a house. Look into the history of the foundation and the house itself, because if I ever get a house, I'm doing heavy research on that building. Prior tenants, everything. I will not deal with anything like that. Seeing some very strange and unexplained events in her home in Alabama. Like I said, animals can see things we can't. Now, many viewers believe that they can hear a voice whisper something after the dog barks that sounds like, lay over there. But what do you hear? If That's what it anything. sounds like to me. As for Nadine, she says that she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in ghosts at all. But then one night, she's looking after her two-year-old daughter Blake, and something happens that freaks her right out. Blakey, yeah. you okay? Do you want me to go open the door? Why? Oh. No? Okay. Okay, I, I'm i honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door Wait. because she kept pointing Wait. to my room saying, You're Mommy, Mommy, back. someone's over there. Yes, and and she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified, of course, freaking me out. So... I went over there and she just said, no, mommy, come here, come here, mommy, sit, sit, mommy, don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed the mother door. And as you can see, dude, she's still terrified. She's still terrified. She doesn't want me going over there. She doesn't want me open the door. I kind of forgot that also kids at a very young age can also see things that adults can. I remember seeing a couple things in my past. I explained it in a previous uh, Nuke Stop 5 video, even though that was a long time ago. But my point still stands. Or I am... Dude, I'm terrified. Blakey, mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? I'll be right back. It's okay. I'll be right back. And now she's hiding her face. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
It's okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not... Yeah, that's... Uh... Little two-year-old Blake is terrified of something in Nadine's bedroom. So much so that Nadine has to close the door to calm her daughter down. So could it be that little Blake saw a supernatural entity? Or just what was scaring her? Let me know what you think. Alone on the farm. I definitely agree. It's very possible. Kids can see things from a very young age that adults can as they get older. Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home. But soon, Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling and unexplained events. These strange incidents only seem to occur when Tasha is home alone. So her husband is a bit skeptical. So one day, a picture frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. Tasha grabs her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her husband that something's just not quite right in the old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor and it just... But things soon start to get even weirder because the family dogs begin to act really strange. Why are you running? Uh-oh. Animals are always the first sign of danger before a human sees anything. Another day and Tasha is recording a candid video of her dogs to post to Snapchat when this happens. Look at them destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> Silly. Right after posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow-like figure moving up the wall. Oh, I didn't even see that. I was too busy watching the dogs. Tasha has no idea what the creepy shadow could be. So she shares her story to TikTok, hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention of millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 180-year-old farmhouse. I mean, it's very possible. And then, one night, just after midnight, someone rings Tasha's doorbell. When she checks the security camera, what she sees chills her to her core. Uh, did her sensor light just go off? shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears to just take a seat. It then gets up, moves away towards the right, and disappears. So did Tasha and her family move into a haunted farmhouse? Could the renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to act out? Let me know what you think. Imaginary Friend a woman from Oregon says that her young daughter claims that there is something living in their basement, hiding in the storage area just underneath the stairs. At first, of course, the mother dismisses these claims, just thinking it's the little girl's overactive imagination. But that same day, after hearing something strange coming from the basement, the mom decides to check the footage from their security camera. What she sees chills her to her core. Whoa. Did you see it? I did. A small pale hand can be seen reaching out from under the stairs 
before just disappearing. Even creepier, both the child and the family cat seem to spot this bizarre apparition. The little girl even seems to wave at something that we can't see. Now unfortunately this video was shared to the internet without a direct source, so we'll probably never know just what happened here. What walks in the woods? Reddit user no recognition 1998 says that this video was caught on a trail cam 20 miles out. Of it's funny that their name is no recognition, but you have now received recognition by new top five <laughs> because you may have found something paranormal. So I think you might want to change your name, man. <laughs> into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. Now, there is no reason that anyone would be this far out in these isolated woods at this time of night. So what is this? Someone or what? something walks past a forest trail cam at 4.37 in the morning. Without an in arm. In the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere. Curious Reddit viewers point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kinda off. They say it's perhaps not even human at all, as it seems to have very pale skin, thin frail arms, and a long neck. Now is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho? Or is it something else? I leave that for you to decide. Lurking in the darkness. Now this next extremely popular video was suggested so much, probably close to a thousand times, there was really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's Top 5. What? So, Dustin Frazier says that he works the night shift at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. One night, hey, Dustin Tennessee. is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. I get comfortable with my chair. And I feel like, ugh, like all day today, I felt bad. Almost it's less like a little bit, I felt bad. And I don't know, I just, like I feel like I need to go to the doctor, but like I'm constantly just like nauseous. And I don't really know why, like I have tried Who the to, fuck was that? Like, Hold on. Take medicine for it. Did you guys see that? I'll go back. Who the fuck is that? I've tried to. That's gonna be in my like, nightmares. That face. That's terrifying. Stuff, but I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um, but if you wanted to scrap for a little time, um, and say hey, like you could. Oh, I can't see. I also hate that they always keep this room so fucking dark. Like, come on man. Uh, she's back. She's in the background, yeah. man. Anyways, yeah, if you wanted to swing by and say, hey, then, you know, you could. But, yeah, I'm just chilling. Throughout the video, strange voices and whispering can be heard. I felt bad. Honestly, it's less, like, a little bit. I'd to, like, take a dozen thing. Um... And I also hate that they always keep this room so f***ing dark. Like, come on now. But creepiest of all, something can be seen standing in the shadows just behind Dustin. Not once, but, but twice. twice. Some dark figure with a distorted skeletal face. Now at the time I'm recording this story, this video has gained a massive audience of over 19 million viewers. Making it 21. the most popular and most suggested video. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. We need scary videos, so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Caught on camera. Reddit user Justin says that he and his family recently bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. But. During renovations, Justin says his doorbell security camera caught something really creepy. Oh. Someone just peering in? Seven seconds. I 
I'll take it out. Oh, there they are. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek at Justin's front door. Then whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing off camera. Now with the house's 200 year history, Justin is worried that his renovations might have triggered some paranormal presence to act out. But worried Reddit viewers warn Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier. What? A trespassing stranger that is scoping out his house for unknown reasons. So is this a ghost? Or is this a very real and potentially dangerous person? Yeah. You decide. Frozen in fear. In this creepy video, a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house. The dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she calls to him. Nigel, what are you doing? Nigel. What the <laughs> fuck? The dog appears to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind a shed in their backyard. When the woman slowly looks around the corner, her heart almost stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring right back at her. Now the video abruptly ends here and was reposted to the internet by social media outlets that just don't bother to credit the source. So with no explanation, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. But the dog's freaked out reaction is strange. Uh, more so worrying. What do you think this dog is seeing looking back from the darkness? Cursed. A young Shit. woman in Japan claims that her grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her cupboards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic and that the cursed photo album and her grandmother's strange rituals might have led to her grandfather's strange unexplained death 12 years earlier. Her grandfather allegedly took his own life inside the home. But the circumstances were very suspicious. The young woman says that for her part, she once viewed the cursed album herself, but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards. Since then, the young woman's grandmother has passed away, but she is still afraid of the home and the creepy photo album. She asked anonymous paranormal investigator Conico to remove and destroy the album, warning him that everyone who views the photo album becomes ill and that some of her family even believes that the cursed album can possess the viewer. So Conico explores the old abandoned home and finds the album. But he too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house, leaving behind both his phone and camera as he dashes out. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked to retrieve his equipment and analyze the footage. Oh. What they find. I think is it's been a while since I've heard of Fourth Wall. Oh. Recovered footage from a phone that was used as a static camera shows a portrait of the woman's late grandfather just falling to the floor for unknown reasons. But that's not all. Because Conico has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album on camera. Something happens that Conico claims that he doesn't remember at all. Something terrifying. What? There's a cane. What 
the fuck? Strange state of decay. See anything? Activity being heard. Did you see it? I honestly didn't. Kaneko hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, someone can be seen kneeling behind the glass of a small oh. door. But no, I didn't see that. There was no one else inside that house with him. After analyzing the footage, YouTube channel Fourth Wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death and that his spirit is unable to move on. Watcher oh. in the woods. All right, we're out number one. The outdoors frequently sets out to explore and spend the night deep in the wilderness of Canada. On one of these trips, he sets up camp just like any other night and scouts through the woods with a flashlight and a GoPro camera. But this time, something very unexpected happens and things take a creepy turn. Oh, hi. What the hell? Uh, turn your light back on. I need to get out of here. Uh, yeah, and turn. Oh, boy. Ooh. Okay. That was f***ing creepy. I need to get out of here. I would be looking behind the you the whole thinks time. He hears movement in the remote woods. So he cuts his flashlight so he can't be seen. But the joke is on him, because just then, a high-pitched voice can be heard calling out, I see you. Oh, f Oh, hi. Now he's feeling a little on edge and wondering uh, if anyone would. someone or something <laughs> stalking him in the dark woods. He decides to just quickly head back to the safety of his camp. The experienced explorer says this is the scariest sound he's ever heard in the woods. Even though he was somewhere deep in the Canadian wilderness and completely removed from any towns or cities, he says that he hopes that the voice belonged to just a fellow camper having a laugh. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Creepy Outdoors. Okay, um... That one definitely got me for a couple of loops there, that's for sure. Especially that um, hotel one definitely got me there. And who, why the hell do people always go by themselves in the woods? Why?
Go with a bunch of people. You're more safer. Dude, no, does nobody want to live in these? <sighs> well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my um, reaction to this. This was... I suddenly forgot how it feels to be <laughs> scared, and now I'm being reminded. Um, but <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe all stuff, guys, and I will see you in the next reaction video. Bye.